do not buy a laptop in 2019 until you watch this video. Pro, copy and paste my code from the description, new codes, new discount, you can get Windows Professional Office, paste my code, boom, it's Windows Pro time. Right champs, if you're not around here, come on, sub up, join the wheel train, and if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. So in this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about what is coming out in 2019, which laptops to buy now, which ones you do not buy. And we'll talk about where the smart money should go because, hey, when new laptops come out, when new products come out, you can get some deals on older hardware and some of them, you're not going to get a better experience on the new ones. There are going to be some deals. Let's get into it. So let's first go to the ultra, ultra portable. So these are, say, MacBook, MacBook Airs, XPS 13, 2-in-1, Surface Go, products that use the Core Y or the Core M processors. Now, I don't usually recommend these, but when the next CPU comes out for this, I'm thinking I will start recommending them because Lakefield CPUs, which will come out at the end of this year, the ones I just mentioned, they're all safe to buy because now the new Lakefield CPU will be 10 nanometer. It'll be much more power efficient, much more powerful. It's going to big and little cores. So it's going to have a big single core that just screams and then four lower powered cores, basically what they do in mobile phones. So expect better battery life, better performance. They're going to be much better than the Core Y and Core M now, but that won't be until the end of the year. So if you want to buy those ultra, ultra bottles, go ahead, buy them now, you're safe. Now, when it comes to the 13, 14 inch ultra books with the 15 watt parts, we're talking the quad core, eighth generation CPU parts like Cabby Lake R, Whiskey Lake, we're talking XPS 13, MacBook Pro 13. I know they do use 28 watt parts as well, but they do make a 15 watt part. You know, your Matebooks, your Razor Blade Stealths, your Spectres, your X1 Carbons, these sort of 13 inch laptops, they will be getting a massive upgrade at the end of the year. So you're safe to buy them now. But if you can really hang on to the end of the year, you're going to get a significantly better product. And you may have noticed a trend in this segment now where they're offering MX150 graphics like in the Matebook and the Razor Blade Stealth. And there's a few Zen books that do too. That trend that has sort of started, that might just die when this new Ice Lake CPU comes out because it's going to have much better graphics, going to have Thunderbolt built into it natively. So if Thunderbolt should just be plug and play now, simple as, and it is going to be a big upgrade. But if you're in the market for one of these, Ultrabooks now, you're safe to buy because they will not be coming out to the end of the year. Now, if we go into the 15 inch realm, so 45 watt CPU, you know, MacBook Pros, XPS 15s, Razor Blade, Zephyrus, Aero 15, Alienware, all these gaming laptops, these 15 inch premium laptops, these thin gaming laptops, and even the big gaming laptops. There is a big upgrade coming at the end of the month for all these products other than the content creation premium ones like the xps 15 macbook pro zenbook pro you know them ones aren't getting upgraded at the end of the month but all these 15 inch gaming laptops are coming out with rtx graphics and this is where the smart money comes in again i'm looking for deals for the current or the last generation now once these rtx laptops come out i'm looking for deals on them because if i can get a 1070 max q with 144 hertz display razor blade aero 15 even the alienware m15 which just got released that one's out of date the one that's currently available all of those products will have deals on them and let me tell you right now when it comes to rtx 2080 other other than maybe the Zephyrus, which they've only announced the 17 inch with the RTX 2080. But other than that, I'm gonna say all these thin and premium laptops here, mark my word, they're all gonna be thermally managed. So I expect a big performance leap, but you won't be able to use CPU and GPU 100% on any of them. So just think of the current laptops, 1070 Max-Q, 144 Hertz displays. Now these new laptops will come out with 240 Hertz displays. You're gonna need the 2080 for that, I guarantee you. I have a desktop with a 9900K overclock to 5 gigahertz and an RTX 2080 Ti. I cannot get 200 frames on PUBG 1080p. So these laptops got no hope of doing that. So unless you're playing Overwatch or Fortnite or something like that, you're not going to get your 240 frames per second. Well, certainly not at ultra settings. Maybe if you lower it right down, but you will need the 2080. And I have reviewed 240 hertz monitors. And I tell you right now, I cannot tell the difference between 144 hertz and a 240 hertz monitor. Now, if you're a competitive gamer and every single frame and every single refresh makes the difference, yeah, all right, go for the 240 hertz. But I would probably be going with a 144 hertz unless the 240 hertz is just much better in terms of, say, you know, better color gamut, 
it's brighter, more contrast, it's just a better display. If it's a better display, I'll go to 240 hertz. Otherwise, I'll stick with the 144 hertz. And then with an RTX 2060, 2070, 2080, I'll be able to play max settings, 144 frames per second at 1080p. But just remember, there's going to be deals on the current laptop. So wait for reviews of these laptops before you make a decision. Because although I do expect a big performance increase, is there diminishing returns once we get over 144 hertz? Just wait for the review. But I would not be buying any of these laptops at the moment. Because once these new ones come out, the current ones are going to drop in price. They're going to be clearing them out. You're going to be able to get a great deal on them. And you really want to see how these perform. Because it might just be at 1080p, the CPU is the bottleneck. And if a lot of these come out with 1080p displays, RTX are really made for high resolutions. 4K, 1440p is sort of like halfway in between. Still a bit of bottleneck on the CPU, but it might not be that much difference at 1080p. So wait for the reviews, please. Because the old ones, it might be the current situation where everybody's buying a 1080 Ti because the 2080 is not really faster, especially at 1080p where the CPU will be the bottleneck. And talking about CPUs, I expect mid this year, there's not going to be 10 nanometer parts with 4 these 45 watt CPUs. That will be next year because Intel have only promised two 10 nanometers. That's the Ice Lake and the Lakefield. They're coming at the last quarter. So we should see a ninth generation 45 watt part mid year. So that means XPS 15 mid year, MacBook Pro mid year, maybe, who knows? Because with Apple, you know, I mean, they just released the Mac mini with old hardware, if you like the CPU with a previous generation CPU and they've done the same thing with the MacBook Pro 2016 they released Skylake when Kaby Lake was out. You don't know with Apple, but I would presume if these ninth generation 45 watt parts come out mid-year and all the laptops take them like the XPS 15, ZenBook and all the gaming laptops start using these ninth generation 45 watt CPUs, there could be eight cores in a 9.9 version. They usually follow the desktop equivalents. So it's a good bet that there will be an eight core if they release a 9.9. I don't think it's going to matter much for gaming at all, but for content creation, the i9 with eight cores will make a big difference. But to answer the Mac question, when would a Mac get it? It'll probably be October, November. They usually take a little bit more time at Appletown. So the long and short of it, of the 15 inch, 17 inch, any laptop that uses the ninth generation 45 watt CPU, do not buy till the reviews are out. So anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching. I think I've laid it all out for you this year. They're all the CPUs you have to look out for. You're safe to buy everything other than the 15 inch gaming laptops and you know content creation, anything that uses 45 watt hex core CPU, you are safe to buy. So just don't buy the 15 inch until the reviews drop. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And until next time guys, tally ho.